Hi everyone, this is Tony Earp, a Class Eagles director. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something that um, as coaches and parents we we say a lot to players uh, throughout the year and that's in relation to their um, speed of play. Um, players are often told that they need to play faster and they need to increase their speed of play, uh, which is true. Uh, one of the most valuable resources in the game is time and you know one area of a player's level you know that is an indicator of their level is you know how quickly they can play and how what is their speed of play is it um you know fast enough to keep up with the level of competition around them the problem is we tell players to play faster and um it causes problem for players because often you know if we're telling them that they currently are not able to um, here's the uh, here's an analogy, if you will, is that if you're in the kitchen chopping vegetables, and I was over your shoulder, you know, telling you to go faster, faster, hurry up, quicker, quicker, play, you know, chop faster. Um, you know, a couple things could happen. Um, one, the vegetables aren't going to be chopped up very well, or two, there could be you know a piece of a finger, uh, you know, with the vegetables. Either way, it's not going to end well. And with players, this, this happens as, you know, as they're uh, playing, as they hear coaches and parents tell them to play faster, they start, what I say is rushing, which is very different than playing faster. Um, when players rush, that's when they make mistakes, they give the ball away, they panic, all because they're trying to play faster because that's what they're hearing from us. You know, I tell players all the time, you know, when was the last time someone ever said, great rush job on your homework? Or, you know, you did a great rush job cleaning your room. It, it doesn't happen. Rushing doesn't get them a better result. It just, you know, forces them to rush and typically lose the ball. So, you know, when we're telling players to play faster and we see them rushing, what we're doing is we're asking them to do something they're not prepared to do. So as coaches and parents, we have to be a little bit better in, in helping them play faster um, and talking to them about what it really requires to play quicker. Um, and that requires one, you know, being very efficient with your touches and your steps. When the ball comes, you know, you take the exact number of touches and steps and, and the things necessary to execute, um, you know, without having to take too many extra steps, too many corrective touches, um, need to move the ball from one side of the body to the other too many times, you know, that, that's the first thing is you, know, so you have to be very efficient with your first touch, you know, how you're positioned in order to play quicker to begin with. Second is anticipation, understanding where you want to go with the ball, um, seeing those cues around you, um, being able to read the game. That allows players to make decisions faster. If they're making them after the ball gets to their feet and they're not really sure where to go, of course, they're going to slow down. So, you know, if our goal is really to help players play faster without rushing, then what we need to do is first start telling them to play faster and, and recognize when they're rushing and telling them to slow down, think about what they're doing, take the number of touches they need to do things correctly um, versus rushing and giving the ball away anyway. And then focus more on helping them play faster by improving the efficiency of their first touch, how they receive the ball, how they're moving their feet, how they're positioning themselves before the ball gets there, where are they looking before the ball arrives, um, you know, are they reading and anticipating the game around them. As they get better in that area, their speed of play will naturally improve. Um, you know, so that's that's just one thing that I think as coaches and parents we have to get better at is that we don't just tell players to play faster. All we're going to force them to do is rush or encourage them to do is rush because technically they're doing what we're asking them to do. They're playing faster. Um, they're getting the ball off their feet faster, but without, you know, really any better results. So it's much better for players' development, confidence to slow them down, focus on, you know, the things that they're doing right, making sure they're taking, you know, one touch when they can take one touch, but taking two touches when they need two, taking three when it requires it, you know, versus taking two when they should have taken three because they're trying to play faster. So, um, you know, this is a key area we have to be careful when trying to increase players' speed of play um, by really focusing on the elements that increase the speed of play versus just telling kids to play faster, which just creates panicky, rushed kids. Um, you know, and going back to what I said at the beginning, you know, just like somebody standing over your shoulder when you're chopping vegetables, you know, you're not going to get faster by them just asking you to play to do it faster. You have to, you know, get better at it. Um, so, you know, going forward is something we should think about as parents and coaches uh, when addressing this area of the game. So, um, you know, next practice, if you see a player that needs to be playing a little quicker than they currently are, how are we helping them do that? You know, and telling them to play faster is not the way to do it.